We'll be right back with more 4x4 Adventures on Crazy Industries, America's 4x4 Invasion. Crazy Industries, America's 4x4 Invasion is brought to you by Spearhead Trails. Virginia is for lovers. Crazy Industries, crazy for off-road. H-E-N-M Saw, the saw that cuts straight. In the shop with Scorpion Off-Road Concepts. Today we're installing the XHD Armor uh, Fender Flares, front and rear. These are going to give our customer a lot of added clearance over the stock fender flares. They have a really heavy powder coat on there. They're very durable. Also, in the rear, they wrap around and enclose the tail light, so that's an added feature there to have tail light protection. These things are going to give this Jeep a very, very extreme look. Uh, so if you're looking to make your Jeep stand out about above the others, this is the way to go. And I can't wait to get these on there, get his reaction, and then here soon we'll get that thing out on the trail and just see exactly what the benefits of these are because I know he's going to have a lot more articulation and flex without hitting his factory fender flares. Rugged Ridge Armor Fenders for Wrangler JKs are not just another bolt-on accessory. These armor fenders were built with such a brawny and bold styling, they're capable of transforming your rig into an unmistakable, attention-grabbing shadow of its former self. High body lines and aggressively arched wheel openings provide greater clearance for larger tires and allow for improved wheel travel and articulation off-road. Each fender is constructed of heavy gauge 3mm thick steel, utilizing fold and weld construction. For greater structural integrity you can appreciate. These rugged ridge armor fenders are built to last. Now that we've moved up front, continuing on with our XHD armor fenders, we have removed our factory fender flare our cow cover, and our windshield wipers to make way. We've got our fender up here on the table. We've installed our insert panels in the side. We've removed our cow corners from the factory cow panel, installed them on the new fender, installed our marker light and our hood latches. We're ready to now set the fender in place and start fitting it. After installing the fender, we're going to move on to installing the inner fender. Um, it utilizes the factory hardware along with new hardware also. So as you can see, we finished up with our XHD armor fenders and uh, man, they really gave this thing an aggressive look. They provide function, the flares stick out just enough for coverage. This thing looks awesome. <laughs> 